A much anticipated film with a video game look and feel raises quite a few questions, turning moviegoers into sexual voyeurs, leaving your brain and your wallet sucker punched. It's time to get flicked up. Hi there, welcome to Flicked Up Studios. I'm Brett Martin and thanks for watching. Zack Snyder is one of the hottest directors in Hollywood. From 300 to Dawn of the Dead to The Watchmen, and even that owl movie, Snyder has been on top of his game for quite a few years now. And now he brings this unique style and look to Sucker Punch. We're already dead. You're afraid, don't be. To reach your own paradise. Just let go. What you're imagining right now? You control this world. Emily Browning plays Baby Doll, an heiress committed to an insane asylum after wrongfully being accused of the murder of her younger sister. Now, she and her fellow inmates go on a fantasy quest trying to escape this lockup that they're in. Hey, listen, if the Pussycat Dolls had a video game for teenage boys 13 to 18, it would probably look something like this. All right. <laughs> But I'm only doing this because you guys get caught without me, okay? And if it gets too hairy, if I say it's over, we stop. Fellow hooker dancer inmates include Jenna Malone, Vanessa Hudgens, Abby Cornish, and Jamie Chung. Carla Cugino and Scott Glenn also play their part in this film that's really an exercise in green screen filmmaking and really little of anything else. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Sucker Punch is confusing and for many people it will be offensive. There is no depth to any of the performers and the repeated sexualization of the female leads was and is, in my opinion, distasteful. The flicometer gives Sucker Punch one out of five. Unless you're a teenage male, you will feel a bit sucker punched after seeing this film, which left me a bit dazed and confused, but then again, that might have something to do with the fact that I did see the movie at 10 o'clock at night. Hey, let's hope that Zack Snyder's next film, Superman, Man of Steel, puts him back on track because this film does not do him any favors. So now you know before you go, I'm Brett Martin. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends and tell your neighbors because you just got flicked up.